What's up guys, it's Reaper12 here, and I have a review of the Elite Force M4 Carbine. Uh, I'm just going to get started. You can see there's a little bit of a gap there. That's just because um, I did this in a previous take, and uh, it was I couldn't open it with one hand, so I just did it ahead. So I'm just going to show you guys first. This is where the battery goes. You just pull down this delta ring back. And then you open that up, and it stores in a, a battery. It's supposed to store a nunchuck in there, but I use an 11-1 lipo. So let me close it back up. By the way, it's a small Tamiya connector. So yeah, let's start from front to back. Also, um, in the first take, I took off the stock just to show you. It is six positions, by the way, but I took it off. Um, because I wanted to show you that this is all metal. This entire thing is all metal, all underneath. It's really nice welds. There's, doesn't you wouldn't even know it was metal. You would think it was uh, like plastic, but it isn't. The end cap is metal. The screw that holds in the buffer tube holds on the end cap is metal. But the little this little thing is plastic. As you can see, it's kind of discolored from the rest of the receiver. Let me put on the stock. Okay. The stock is like a car 15 style stock. It's pretty unique. There's not many stocks out there that are like this and it's all plastic except for the spring on the inside. Uh, the grip, plastic. Uh, yeah. Uh, upper and lower receiver, they're both plastic. Uh, they're not plastic, actually. All this, they're all really strong uh, polymer, which is really nice. The selector switch is metal. As you can see, it's kind of wearing off on the end of it there. Um, trigger, plastic. Trigger guard is metal. Uh, the fake bolt catch, it doesn't actually work, but it's plastic. This little lever thing that comes out on the other side when you push out the uh, mag release, I believe is metal. I can't tell. I think it's metal. Pretty, yeah, it's metal. Um, the body pins, there's two. One right there and one right there. They're both metal. Um, the carrying handle is plastic. The thumb screws and this little metal thing that keeps it onto the uh, upper receiver, they're all metal. As well as the elevation adjuster and stuff. Right here, the charging handle, as I pull it, is metal and it reveals your hop up so you can push in the door really nice clicking sound. The fake bolt is metal. The trap door is metal. Um, flip it to this side. When you open it up, it's got the really nice wheel style hop up, which is a lot stronger than the uh, regular hop up that goes this way. It, co it comes towards you and around instead of going around that way. That way, so when the BBs are shooting, it's not knocking it forward. It keeps it from going, because uh, it goes um, from the side instead of this way. It goes this way. I don't know if that made any sense, but yeah. Um, the uh, fake spring release thing does not work. It's non-functioning. It's plastic as well. Mag release is metal. Right there, mag release. Same place as all M4s. Uh, right there, you have the uh, not a toy, you know, just showing how it's just basically showing the warning. 
as well as the Umarex logo. It says 6mm BB. Um, right here you have the a mag. This is an Elite Force mag. It's not the mag that comes with a gun. This is an Elite Force and 4 mid cap, which is, in my opinion, some of the best mid caps. And you can see the Elite Force logo. Let me focus it in. There you go, Elite Force. It says 140 right there. Add to mid caps, so there's no winding wheel. Put that back in. Uh, it's got a version 2 full metal gearbox. Really nice. Um, I don't believe this version has the quick change spring system. Um, the original, or not the original, but the CQB and the CQC. Ha I don't know about the CQC, but I know the CQB has a quick change spring system. Carving doesn't, um, just because this is the cheaper version of all three of them. Um, here you got, you know, metal trap door, I already said that. You have the surprisingly metal, um, delta ring. And this gun is, by the way, this gun is discontinued. You can't find it on, like, Evike or anything, um, or Airsoft GI. They're, they don't sell them anymore because the new versions have come out. Uh, but you could probably find this on, like, uh, maybe eBay or Craigslist or something. Uh, here you got the plastic handguard, uh, inside is where you store your battery after you pull this, pull this delta ring that way and then release it down and, uh, you can take out the battery. You have a metal sling point. This side has a sling point right here. There isn't one right here like a normal, uh, M4 style crane, st or not crane stock, wool crane stock, as well as the normal M4 style stock. This is a different style stock. Um, full metal barrel, full metal triangle sight, really nice. Um, plastic flash hider. Uh, it's got tons of glue on it, so I haven't even bothered to take it off yet. Um, another thing, this is not a mil spec buffer tube. It only has six positions, so it doesn't have uh, five like uh, the mil spec ones do. It only ha it has six, um, so you're gonna have to take this off, and if you wanna put on a mil spec buffer tube, to put on a mil spec stock. Um, so that's, I believe it, uh, I really only have three gripes about this gun, and the first one, which is probably the main one, is, this grip is really uncomfortable, uh, if you don't have gloves on. If you do, then you can totally not pay attention to what I'm saying, but if you don't run gloves, I, if you're going to use this gun, I highly suggest getting, um, getting gloves, or a different, um, different grip because it kind of digs into your middle finger and uh, especially because it's a pretty heavy gun it's I think four pounds five pounds probably more than that I don't know it's pretty heavy it's not it's full polymer though or not full polymer but it's mostly polymer um so that's really it it's kind of uncomfortable um my other gripe is that when you turn it over and you see, by the way, this does have a full metal top rail. Um, right here, you can kind of see the seam is a bit off. This little seam right here is a bit off. It should be right underneath that. You sh shouldn't even see it. It should be flush with the thing, but it's, there's a bit off. I don't know if that's on all the carbines or if that's just on mine. And the last one... I believe it was the motor grip, or the motor uh, itself, excuse me, the motor itself, three, there were three times I have had to adjust the motor height because I run an 11.1 LiPo in this. I don't know if that, it's not LiPo ready, so you don't have to listen to me, but I run an 11.1 LiPo uh, inside this gun. Um, so, especially after doing a lot of full auto, the grip, it's, or the, not the grip, but the motor itself will start to come down, um, and you'll have to adjust it, especially if you do full auto with an 11.1 a lot, but if you just run semi, then you're perfectly fine, so I'd either recommend getting a different motor grip, or a different motor, or finding a way to make sure that it won't, uh, keep pushing down, it'll stay in place, but, 
overall, I'll give this gun a 10, or not a 10 out of 10, but a 9 out of 10. Uh, it's a really decent gun, especially for CQB. It's not focusing, there we go. Uh, especially for CQB or minim minimum engagements. Uh, this gun shoots, by the way, at 345 with .2s. So if you can figure out how to put in a new spring, um, I don't, I'm pretty sure this does not have a quick change spring system, but if it does, let me know, post in the comments so everybody else knows, um, so that you can change the spring and put a 400 FPS spring, because most outdoor fields um, let you, but this is perfect for CQB because most fields only let 345. Uh, the CQB field I play at, um, which is Battalion Airsoft Arena in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, it allows 450 with point twos, which is like really hot, but pretty cool, uh, especially if you have a hot gun, but it kind of sucks with Polar Stars. But back on track, uh, this gun is, it was 130 when I got it on EVIC, but it's discontinued. So if you want to find it, um, might as well, or if you know you're looking it up because you're going to buy it from a buddy. Especially if you're a newbie or you like to build up your guns, this is definitely the gun for you. But if you're, you know, looking for a great gun um, that's going to last a long time, definitely get this. But if you're looking, if you're like an advanced player and you're just looking for a gun that's going to be amazing straight out the box, I wouldn't recommend this for you. I'd recommend um, Elite Forces other line of M4s, their 4C, 4CR line, which is the 4CRS and the 4CRL. I'd, I'd recommend those two. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check out all the useful links in the description so you can subscribe to my team as well as um, follow us on Twitter and Instagram and follow me on Twitter. Uh, so yeah, peace.